Port Regal. Mr. Litton. I haven't been here in a while. We're actually getting close to Port Regal in the pirate swashbuckler walkthrough. We're almost done with Cool Ranch Part 1. Okay, where's this at? It's over here. Is it in the tavern? Oh, no, it's in this house right here. And who's this barging into my... My pirate! You're back! Look, Nelly, my dear. This is the pirate who helped us get married. So, what can I do for you? Where are you breaking into this time? No, no, nothing like that. We need to find a fence. We're looking for a treasure someone dug up. Oh, dear. Well, I don't know how much help I can be in that regard. No more thievery for me. I've turned my life around, you see. Now, of course you have. Well, I don't know if he'd still be in business, but the best fence I ever knew of was right here. Finnegan's his name. Here's his address. Very good. We'll go find this Finnegan. Congratulations, Mr. Litton. I hope married life brings you joy. Till death will you part. I mean, he's got his wife just sweeping the floor all day. Seems pretty nice, I guess. I could hear her sweeping in my left ear the entire time during that conversation. Pretty great. Okay, who's this cat? He's literally a cat. Finnegan. What's oh, this? multiple hey, cats. I know your face. Seeing you coming and going for Mr. Ims of the domicile, haven't I? Your special branch boils. Take them. Cat fence. Okay, what do we got here? Hmm. Don't need that. Kinda scared, we don't- well, it's not that big of a battlefield. I don't know how good flames would have been anyway. Just buff. Kinda scared for Bonnie Ann. I'm gonna move her back. We're gonna retreat. And then, uh, just hold the line. He doesn't have to hold the line, but we can pretend that he does. If I drop flames next, that could be useful, but then again, maybe I'll just start attacking everyone. You see, I kind of want him to go for Dead Mike. He's the bait. Oh, the cat. I mean, it's fine too. Cat versus cat. Actually, the flames might be bad because if anyone hits those barrels, it'll blow up my flames. He has nowhere to go. Except there. Kill the crossbow. Okay. Well, we do have flames. Let me just let me just get the uh, like the idea of where the flames could be if I put them down. That's not bad. It's actually better than I expected. Let's do that. But I can't do that because I want to blow him up. Let's attack him and attack him. See, this is a good fence battle here. Half health already. Dead Mike's trying to put in the work. And actually, he is. He's doing really good. Just, you know, take him out. Get it over with. Yep, you're dead. Oh, 
Oh, he moved out of range of the flames. Smart. Okay, I have Mojo. Yeah, there it is. And that'll probably kill him. If not, do that. I guess that. I kind of want him to walk over here. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Oh, you can just walk in my flame, you know? Perfect. Dodge skills. Okay, time to finish this guy off. Zeal, you seem to be on the level. Can't be too careful, you understand. I'm sure we're looking for a brass disc about so big, lots of little holes. Anybody bring that to you recently? It's your lucky day. Somebody did indeed. Big fella he was. I'm sorry, but I didn't catch his name. Didn't buy the thing from him, it turns out. It was clearly broken off another piece, and I wasn't about to take it incomplete. I referred him to Madame Bianca over on Skull Island. She's not so particular as I am. Now this information, you'd find it of some value, no? Yes, indeed. But I bet the fact you're still breathing is valuable to you too. Let's just call us even. Thanks for all the help. Yeah, I'm not about to give him anything for that. Like, he's the one that attacked us, right? Heal up, Madame Bianca. That's the uh, Pearl and Plunder. brass disc with tiny holes in it yes I know it a shame I sold it not long ago another collector beat you to it it seems too bad what was his name I can't remember for the life of me I'm so distressed what with those vile sharks stealing all my garnets yes I'm sure you are I can see where this is going. I suppose it would help if somebody returned those garnets. You'll help? Thank you. The sharks, they're in Grimtooth Cavern behind Traitor's Cave. I'm sure I'll have remembered by the time you get back. Really? This is like, you know, during the quest line, this, this is one of those parts that's just like, okay, that's unnecessary to have to go back to the Blood Shoals again. Okay, oh, back in the same trader's cave where everything happens. Maybe Captain Han will be in here too. Hand, wanna fight again? Wanna fight me for real this time and not get hit by one flame and then ditch? Where is this? Really, it's in here? Great. <laughs> There's Grimtooth Cavern. Let's run headlong into danger, shall we? Yep, I guess we'll find out what's in here. Oh, just some sharks, okay. Guess I can deal with them. Plus, there's only four of them. Does that mean I have to do another battle after this? How much health do they have? 3,000. Ugh. I can't use any of that. Yes, yeah, so I'll just have to try to get some buffs. Do that. If I have to do another battle, then I'll skip it, but I'll just show this one.
Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's really a good place to put flames on this one. But maybe there will be. Next turn. Okay, Dead Mike, you are getting destroyed. By just regular... Oh, these guys are good! These guys are way better than the other guys we faced. How are these guys so good? Okay, I almost want to put flames down now. Does that mean I don't have to use Dead Mike anymore for this quest? Because it, it forces me to use him. Okay, the reason they're so good is they have relentless, like, 10. What? Like, yeah, I would be good too if I had relentless 10. Wow. What just happened? Uh, where's a good place for flames there? I can do this, right? Yeah, but it won't hit that many. Well, it could. Hmm, I could always run into the flames as, like, a hideout. What do they have? They have relentless 2. I'm gonna do that. Wait, does that even work? How does that even work? How do the flames even work over there? I don't... I don't like that. That's not gonna work. The flames aren't gonna go there. Oh, I don't like this. Guess we'll try to put the flames like this. Yeah, that's the best I can do. Oh, old scratch, you're gonna get owned. Eh, I have to do it. I have to. Uh, yeah, it only put up three flames. Die. Oh. Okay, two of them are gonna get hit by flames. Just don't kill old scratch. Yes, he's getting hit. Hit. Flames. Dead. And two are gonna get hit by this one. Yes. Okay. Flames shall save us. So, how much does this do? 700. That should kill him. Most likely. And then, uh, let's go for this. I'm not gonna revive Dead Mike. He's not the best. Okay, he didn't do anything. Overkill. Wow. <laughs> so many items. Two out of five. Okay, this is going to take me a little bit. So I'm going to cut until when I finish this one. Hopefully all my companions don't die. Well, thankfully, I collected three more of them in that second battle. Dead Mike died again. Okay, so I tried to not use Dead Mike when I did it, but it forces me to use it. It literally revives Dead Mike so that he can be in the fight. I didn't even realize that. Many thanks, pirate. I do indeed recall who bought the disc from me. It was Scaly Gilman out of Gullet. The fish? Nah, he's a vile one, he. There'll be no dealing with him. Come now. There's nobody we can't deal with one way or another. Let's go find him. Where's that? Oh, back to Jonatown. Great. All right, made it to the gullet. Where's this guy at? Another guy we're going to have to take out, right? Wait, Frogfather? Nope, not Frogfather. Next to Frogfather. Ugh, gill man indeed. Ah, dinner's delivered, I see. Come and get him, lads. Come and get him. Scaly Gilman. Oh, look at that. It revived Dead Mike for me. So nice. No buffs. That's, uh, not my favorite thing ever. Can I just use this? Yeah. I'll go for the Gilman. <laughs> and then, uh, here you go. Dead Mike. You know what? I'm just gonna keep him there. I'll let them do whatever kind of movement they want. Super hit on Scaly Gilman. 
Didn't even do that much. Well, did an okay amount for no buffs. Double band aid. What happens if he dies three times and then it tries to still resurrect him? Does it work? Not old scratch. Okay. No, stop. Nope. He's Oh, he's dead. Dang it, old Scrooge! At least he gave us a spooky. So I can use my uh, flames. <laughs> uh, let's do that. I guess attack Scaly. That's it? Wow, only 800. It's a good block. Where are you running to? What the heck was that? You literally attacked a chair. What's the point of that? Yeah, celebrate attacking a chair, dude. You are really good. Okay, they're dead. Yeah. See, I can attack a chair too with my flames. Two left. One guy is in like low health. So the guy, I don't know why he ran away. I'm scared of something. I guess I'll attack with that. Mormo, you can finish him off, hopefully. I kind of want him to move over here though, so. I'll hide in the corner. Well, nah, just stay there. Kinda wanna draw him into the flame. Unless he wants to attack that other chair. Okay. Guess he's gonna miss the flame. Nope, he hit it. Okay, he came back. Good job. Good job, you little rat. Yeah, I know. Yep, I, I still know. What are these things? Let me look at them. Are they even good? Wait, wait, we surrender. You want the plate? Take it. I don't even know what it is. Just figured it was important. Just take it. Take it and go. Two down, none to go. Let's get this thing to the black spot and see if it's as great as Bob says. Somehow I doubt it. Nobody listens to me. Alright, I'm gonna float some or flaunt some. I'm gonna try to clear some bag space. Alright, made some bag space. So when we do fight Captain Hand, and I've heard he has decent drops, that we have room to get those drops. You have the plate? Good. Now we can set to work. Jenny told me the symbol to use on the base and the upper plate. When we align them... Look, the words are revealed. Devilfish Hollow, end of the Shark Tooth Passage. Devilfish Hollow? So another map piece has been here in Skull Island all this time. Let's go! Devilfish Hollow. Well... Feels like, since I'm there, I might as well check the clandestine trainer, but... That is a long ways to get there. Well, at least to get to the trainer. Not to Devilfish Hollow. But, we'll find out. I like that the quest line for this, or the objective, is to look for Mom's map piece. I hope there is the map piece, because that'd be awesome. But, I don't know. Guess we'll find out. It's the name of the game. Okay. So, I've never been to this part. Wait, what? Uh. 
probably never been to this part because we're not supposed to go here. Yeah. No, I don't think we're supposed to go up here. It's probably down below. And usually you get pulled down below. Is it down the ladder? I'm sure it is. Come on, Quest Arrow. I need your help on this one. Oh, it is all the way back there. That's where the... The uh, clandestine trainer is. Yeah, that's the journey to go over there. And I think you can't avoid getting pulled. At least I don't think. Unless I do my voodoo magic skills and somehow... Look how close they are, though. I mean, I could try, but if I, if I get pulled, then I'm just going to cut until when I get to the point. This is so hard. <laughs> I feel like there's a way to not get pulled. But <laughs> it's unlikely. So I'll be back to when I get to the actual place we need to go. All right, I think we're almost there. I only got pulled once. And the rest of the way, I made it. I want to mark here. I want to mark over here, because this is where the the trainer is. Should we just check it? Just check it. Because I don't really know if there's... Pirate, there I think this is the uh, Buccaneer one. Wish to learn, but yeah. hurry, I must leave this place soon. All right. Well, let's go where we actually need to go. This is right here. Your mother's piece of the map must be in that chest there. Let's go get it. This was that uh. What do you call it? Sneak peek picture. Captain, it's not here. Funny thing, it never was. Of course, Uncle Bob. What? It's like the crib. No, Jenny's piece of the map was never here. Her greatest treasure was here, but that never had anything to do with the map. You lying dog. And I suppose she was never your sister, neither. In point of fact, no. Pirate, I'm afraid I haven't been entirely honest with you. Why am I not surprised? Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. <laughs> Spiny Norman did tell me where the code wheel was hidden and how to set it, and he was on his deathbed. But his demise was far from natural. So what the devil was hidden here? And if you knew how to get the wheel, why go through this whole charade? Your mother was quite the adventurer, pirate. Her diaries contain hints to the location of a dozen treasures she hid during her long career. My shipmates were eavesdropping on us in the black spot. As soon as they overheard where the cave was, they raced us here and won. The charade was to lure you into our trap. It worked. Jenny's piece of the map may not be here, but you're carrying quite a few of them. I warned you what would happen if you betrayed the captain. What do you want on your gravestone, fool? We'll see who the fool is, dead man. <laughs> so, ye were behind this all along, eh? Hey, ye vile varmint. Pirate Jenny were me worst enemy in the old days. She mutinied again me, took me hand, and stole me treasure. Now I'll get it all back, and more besides. Getting to trounce her dear little babe, why not sauce for the goose? Oh, and one more thing. Ye'll hand over the bits of Poyo's map ye do have, and ye'll do it quick if ye want to keep your skins. I reckon getting to El Dorado myself will be the best revenge. And if not, I wonder how much Kane would pay for the chance. You'll never know, you monster. Attack! Kane? Do you know what happened to Kane? <laughs> Alright, Captain Hand, let's do this. Wow, it's quite a few Jobu's embraces. We're gonna go with Great Juju. That. Here you go, Dead Mike. There's your uh, intuition, or not intuition, uh, for strike. And we'll uh, save off. Hold back a little bit. Maybe I can draw flames and have Captain Hand run into them again and die this time. At least Old Scratch is in a good spot, kind of in the back.
Okay, or he can go straight for the back line. I didn't have Mojo Reaver yet. What? Oh, I didn't realize you could go that way. Basically, it's like a 1v... Like, 4 against Captain Hand right now, so... Oh, I didn't draw it. Dang it. I don't like all these AoEs. They're not really helping me right now. <laughs> uh, Let's go with this, and then this. And we're gonna hope that Mormo can do a ton to Captain And. It's all up to you now, Mormo. Pretty good. Good thing Dead Mike's the only one that can uh, get hit from a repose. Alright, let's see if one more kills him. No crit. Mm, close. Dang it, he's gonna die from the relentless. Okay, good. Alright, they got distracted by uh, the skeleton guy. Now I can just AoE. Boom, he's dead. Do this. Uh, probably, yeah, I'll probably just do that too. Dead Mike, I guess just go for that guy. Later, Captain Hand. <laughs> and even epic hit. Could put flames down, but I'll see how much my AoE does. I lost my spooky though. Let's see. 970. Let's just do it. Put it. Yeah. Oh, that was not where I wanted to put it. Put it here. And then uh, everyone just start uh, dealing some damage. Who's right, though? <laughs> All right, Dead Mike. That's death number three. I think uh, you're done. Really? Okay, there you go. I'll accept it. <laughs> wow! I misjudged how good that charm would be. Okay, time to finish this off. It's over. And Momo didn't die. That's good. Wait, he's still charmed? Alright, I'm healing Momo.
Yep, he went straight for Momo. Good thing I healed him. Okay, I'm done. It's over. You're dead. 100% dead. You've won the diary for now. You know, I'd have been proud to be your uncle. Farewell, pirate. Hold. Stay your hand, pirate. I beg pardon. Nope, cut his other hand off. <laughs> I actually got some piece of witch doctor here. We'll look at it after. Arr, get all the thorn in me side your mother was and more. I beg ye, spare me crew. Captain, I say, take his There you go. And teach him a lesson. No, much as he might deserve it, Pirate Jenny would never have done that. Let him go. The shame of losing to a kid can be worse than death. Well, Captain, seems like this whole thing was a trick after all. At least we won the diaries. Let's go back to a tavern cellar. They actually updated it so you can redo the Captain hand fight uh, in this patch, so that's interesting. Uh, we got a... What did we get? We got boots? No, what did we get? Uh, that wasn't boots. It was... Uh... There it is. Magus's Golden Globo. Interesting. Heat metal next targets armor for two rounds and then increases the will. Okay. It's interesting. So we got that from the Captain Hand fight, which now you can repeat, so I guess you can come back here and just what go in here and fight Captain Hand again and get some gear. So it doesn't have a chest or anything, but you can redo the thing. So redo the Captain Hand fight to get gear. Let's turn this quest in and finish this up. It was, uh, I mean, it was, it was long, but it wasn't, like, crazy long. I enjoyed the storyline, too, with Captain Hand. It was, it was awesome. And, uh, now we get to upgrade Dead Mike, finally. Which, I kind of forgot that was the whole reason we're doing this. So the cellar. Here you go, Dead Mike, with three band-aids. Those diaries. It seems to me they're the best possible way for you to get to know your mother again. When you read them, you'll see how much she loved you, and that's worth more than gold. <laughs> Undead Vindicator. Nice beard. Wow. <laughs> Level 70. Let's see what he gets. New epic. Well, repost three, second chance two, blade storm two. I don't feel like he blocks enough. Ah, I could give him. You know what? Fine, repost two, or three. There you go. Red beard and everything. So that is gonna do it for the promotional level 70 quest for the Presidio companions. That was Dead Mike. I'll probably divide this up into two parts, which you probably already saw in uh, the video titles. Because that took a little longer than I expected, but that's how promotional quests usually go in this game. So, that's going to do it. Leave a like on this if you guys have enjoyed it. I'll be back with more Power 101 videos soon. Uh, look forward to the Cool Ranch walkthrough, which Blue and I have been doing for a while now. So, that'll be going up. But other than that, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time.